Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by today. Doing a little product, I guess, uh, review, uh, usage. I saved you from the unboxing. This is actually a wood pellet cage for wood stove inserts. Say that ten times. Last winter I looked at doing something like this. I found some videos on YouTube where people were putting, actually making a small cage for pellets, wood pellets, and burning those in their inserts. Looks like it worked well. I tried it out and I liked it. It was uh, real easy to go down to Menards or, you know, your local box store, uh, tractor supplies what we have. Grab a 40 pound bag of wood pellets for heating. They're actually heating wood pellets. Under five bucks, you can't go wrong. It just seemed like a no brainer. So I made a little basket, worked well. Wanted something a little more practical, maybe a little better built than what I did. Came across this. There's only a couple things to pick from that I've seen on, on the internet. There was uh, this uh, company here. They're on Etsy. Never used Etsy before. And there was another company that um, made a little, little more expensive cage. This is about $55. There was another one out there about $150. Uh, more like steel, heavy duty steel. I could tell it was heavy made. But I didn't want to spend $150 on the cage. So I came across this one on Etsy, like I said, 55 Had good reviews. I've never purchased off the Etsy, so it's kind of a, a leap of faith. And this is what I got. And I'm pretty impressed with what I see so far. So this is the, they come in, I guess, two, two models. This one must be like the 12-inch. I think there's a 12 and 16-inch. Don't quote me on that. But this is the smaller one. Comes with a, a stand, well, actually two stands. This is exactly what you get. So this is a, it's not, it's kind of heavier gauged um, steel mesh. Uh, as far as thickness, it, I mean it's sturdy. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. They give you the two stands that you use, and then the cage itself, which you can kind of see here, divided into two sections, so uh, two chambers. They've, they've got it. Uh, They've got the material folded well. I mean, the, the seams are tight. They must have tack welded on the ends and around the cage so it doesn't come undone. It's it's very sturdy. I must say it's it's a very sturdy cage. And they also, they also have um, like a, a chamber in the middle here that will not get pellets. And I'm sure that's for, that'll uh, assist with burning. But it, it's a well-built cage, I must say. I'm very pleased with what I see. I don't think it's going to come apart. Maybe after, we'll see how it does after some uh, some fires. But as far as right now, I mean, it's it's sturdy. So you simply just put it in your fireplace, put it down, fill it with pellets, and you know you, you put your piece of paper or however you want to light it from underneath, and it just starts to burn. As an uh, an added bonus, they have this little tool they send you. They obviously make these here, make them at the shop as well. Nice little uh, wood handle with their uh, little logo on there. Uh, it says, Repost Fire Logs, handcrafted in Maine. So that's where they are located, in Maine. But this is a, this is a nice, uh, nice tool. You know, if you need to reach in and move your, your, your pellets around a little bit or grab it out to refill, a uh, very nice tool, nice touch. So what I see is, uh, I'm very pleased with what I see. Let's go try it out. Let's put some pellets in it, and we'll uh, light it. See how it works? All right, let's go inside. All right. We're back. I've got the pellets in both chambers. Let me see if I can get you in there. Let's take you in. We're about halfway in both. I've got some cardboard underneath to give it a light. I've got the stands down as you can see. Let's see how it goes. Let's give it a light. Okay. Let's get things lit up here. Okay. 
Here we go. I think they're lit already. Look how that's glowing. That's pretty cool. That definitely adds to the ambiance. Nice red glow of the metal. I'd say we're definitely going. I don't think there's much left of that cardboard. Yep, they are definitely going. Alright, I'm going to step back. We'll let it burn for a little bit. And, uh, See how it goes. All right, we will even do a time lapse. All right, so a couple final thoughts on this new pellet basket for my insert uh, wood stove. I do like this basket. It holds a lot of pellets, and it burns really well. I like that it has the the air vent through the center of the baskets to get more airflow between the pellets. I think that works great. This is what I was actually using before, which was nothing more than one of those grill veggie baskets. And I bent the ends up <laughs> to hold more pellets. <laughs> it worked good. It, it actually worked good. It was starting to warp, <laughs> as you can see. But all in all, that that little basket did work but I think this is gonna work all the better the only issue I see right now if I open this slowly so I don't get smoke in here as you can see it's burning real nice still the cage is still very sturdy I've had five or six fires in here no no complaints everything's holding together well the only issue I have right now is you can see how tight this fits in this inside the this chamber here I can't reach the back <laughs> when I use my I have a scoop here that I'll put inside the pellet I'll get a scoop and then I'll scoop it in there but it's hard to get to that back basket. It's just a tight, a tight fit in there. It's my only complaint. Nothing I can do about it. It's not the basket's fault. It's just, it's just a tight uh, wood stove in there. So that's my only complaint. And it's really not even a complaint. <laughs> but anyway, just some final thoughts on this basket that I bought off of Etsy. It's working really well. If I run into any problems, I will do an update video. Or maybe I'll do an update video in a, a couple months through the winter. We'll see how it holds up after about a, huh, 50 fires and not just uh, 4 or 5. So, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.